It, it's fair to say that you weren't even given the option to do a speed awareness course. I did ask. The lovely chap in the high-vis jacket <laughs> with police on his jacket. <laughs> he said, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to episode 24 of the Auto Alex podcast. If you're watching this with your eye holes, then you will see that we've got two guests. Uh, if you're w listening to this with your ear holes, then we, ha we have two guests, but you can't see them. Um, should we introduce... Before we do that, you join me, you join Rory, and you join... Oh, what? The postman that just hosts the parcel. Postman just, Thank you, postman. <laughs> um, you join two very special guests. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself, starting with the man sitting to my right? Hello, I'm William. Uh, um, and I'm Edwin. Yes. Oh. No, and I'm Edwin. Hello. Where, where are, you? are you from? Um, Newbury originally, <laughs> just down the road. Uh, no, I was uh, from Car Throttle from before. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm from Top Dead Centre. Why have you spelt centre wrong? Because um, I'm American. Okay, right, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can see and hear, we are joined by Edwin and Will from uh, the new channel, Top Dead Centre. We're all part of a family now. Family. Yeah, it's all about family. Uh, and yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of these guys in our unit, which is very, very exciting. Who's messaging me? I can't believe it. It's Tim from EBC. It's so unprofessional. Do you need some breaks? We do. We <laughs> really so do. But behind us, we actually have, um, we actually have a, a Porsche... 911. Can we call it that? I was going to say, I'm not sure it's a Porsche yet. Mm. No, okay. It was. Okay. It was <laughs> at some point. Before we get into the video, though, hello to. Oh, shit. No, there's no script this week. We've been very busy, haven't we, Rory? We've been very busy. We've been launching a channel with Edwin and Will. We've all been very, very busy indeed. And uh, how's that been going for you guys? Yeah. Uh, I'd say, you know, performance is so 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 far. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can we do that? No, we no, let's, let's, talk, let's talk numbers. It's. it's absolutely mental what's it 108,000 yeah. subscribers so yeah. far almost 400k on the video at, at filming what, what yeah. were you hoping for bragging around this now, time bragging. i said to rory and rory's be making fun of me here for this <laughs> i said it would be really cool if we got 10 uh, 10 000 subscribers and 50 000 views by the end of the week and then Rory on the first night was like, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those numbers have been ticking up quite nicely. Yeah. What did you think you were going to get? Million. I thought <laughs> million. I'm, I'm actually extremely disappointed. We're only here because we want that million. Yeah, <laughs> we're, yeah we're doing outreach. No, I, had, I had no idea. I think five figures subscribers would have been nice. Okay, and yeah. we've, we've kind of smashed that. And the first video hasn't even gone out yet. No, yeah. That's what's amazing is we haven't even put a... All we did was talk. So your yeah. re your reveal videos are nearly, like you said, nearly 400,000 views. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed yet to Top Dead Center, go search it, f find it, subscribe it, like the first episode, because Edwin and Will go into the reasoning behind starting that channel. Um, Edwin, you're obviously formerly Car Throttle. Mm -hmm. Will, you are formerly Overdrive. And you've been talking about starting a channel for many, many years, because you guys are best friends, right? Yeah. Like, well, we, we both... Everyone in this room worked at Carthroll. Yep. We were all in the same yeah. office at one point. Yeah. Because and Will and I were working on the social media side of Carthroll together. And yeah, we'd always talked about doing car stuff because, well, when I met Will, Will is the only other human I've ever met who's as afflicted by car obsession <laughs> as I am. So we very quickly became very good friends. Nice. And yeah. So then the moment we were like, hey, neither of us have jobs. We should probably do something. Yeah. But but the whole not having jobs thing, that was your fault for car throttle and it wasn't really your fault for, yeah, for I, overdrive, I'm was it? I'm fully innocent. Edwin is. <laughs> <laughs> Edwin just wanted to watch yeah, the world burn. This is true. <laughs> so there are quite a few questions. Let me, before we go into the question, you know, I'm, I just mentioned EBC man. Yes. Tim. So um, he said, listening to, pod sorry, this is going to be very ADHD. Listening to podcast 23, give Rory a slap, will you? Brakes don't warp unless they get to like 900 degrees. I could get all technical and shit but walk warping in such an old warping is such an old-fashioned term i don't know when you said about warping brakes when did i say about oh, warping brakes? On, last last oh week. my jack yeah yeah my jack had warp brakes no no it didn't unless it got to 900 yeah. degrees what well, okay i've put new brakes on and the brake paddle is now no longer so um, tim apparently you're wrong and to make up for it you're going to have to give us a full set of discs and pads for this uh also, Porsche 996 that's a also, fair trade actually speaking of can, can i sorry i'm gonna go completely back to the last podcast 
So I had a, a very mixed bag of comments. I don't know if you saw. Basically, I said electric cars aren't the future. And then mm. I, there was a lot of people going like, oh, no, no, they are. Have you not seen the, the mandates by governments? Which I then just said, governments lie. You can't say All right. that. Oh, but anyway, since, since, <laughs> since last week, Mercedes-Benz have now said that they are pulling out of a lot of their electric uh, manufacturer. And then I've also had an Instagram message from a, a man who I got told I could not say his <laughs> name. Oh, interesting. But if it were his name, or if it were to rhyme with his name, what would it be? Uh, wait, let me let me find him. Let me find him. Also, uh, just uh, just quickly, surely this is the easiest way to just get someone to read something is be like, you can't say my name, but this is true. <laughs> you can't have any yeah. details about me, but I promise you, this is true. <gasps> Sorry, this is I've, I've forgotten humor. something. I've forgotten something. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. What? And Rory's mum, Jackie. Uh, there you go. Because we haven't done it. Uh, God, Hello. This is an ADHD podcast. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Right. While you do that, right, I'm just you, looking you through. It. I'm just looking through some of the comments uh, on your on your first ever episode on Top Dead Centre. Uh, one of them says, which has been upvoted 586 times from Frostfly. I hope Will still has decent relations with Scott and Callum. They were so much fun to watch as a trio. I hope this duo can do things just as fun. Will hate the pair of them. Uh, never, <laughs> never. No. Um, yeah. The, the the redundancy thing. I don't hate anyone. I'm I'm still friends with with both of them. I've spoken to Callum a fair bit about starting this channel and and that kind of thing. And what happened happened. Uh, redundancies. You know, these things happen in business. And the way I see it is, if that whole thing hadn't happened with Overdrive. I wouldn't be sat here with Edwin oh, making a new channel. Aren't you too cute? Um, right, but yeah. Get your pants undone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you outside afterwards. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think yeah, we're, we're, we're all good. Um, I, I think that's so, always yeah. been quite a funny thing with these channels, isn't it? Where when Alex left and all this stuff, there was all this, this like sort of rivalry in the comments between like, oh, you can only follow Auto Alex or you can only follow Car yeah. Yeah. And, and, and My favourites were, oh, this is so much better that the short ego guy is gone. <laughs> and uh, every time I'm like... <laughs> and, and it was also almost like you personally insulted Jack and Ethan. Uh, and, yeah. and, and you went, fuck you guys. And I'm not, I don't want to be Swearing. with you. Swearing. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. But um, yeah, I think they everyone doesn't realise that we've all kind of stayed in touch and stayed friends yeah. and everything like that. It's It's... There isn't any versus each other. It's always just been trying to help each other out where we can. Really. Yeah, and especially when we've all worked for com we've worked for companies. If it yeah. had have been our own channels and then left and made another channel, there might be some form of like, oh, but none of us owned it. No. So of course, what? How can you be mad at someone to go and make their own thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing that always got me as well because obviously I was quote unquote the face of of car throttle for. Like eight, well, I was there for like 10, 11 years. I, I was the face of it for like eight years. And anytime anything went wrong, I was the one that got the flack. Yeah. Like on Instagram or emails. It's like, oh, I can't believe you're selling out to blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't do the deals. I don't do any of this yeah. stuff. And it got to a point for me when I was like, I wasn't married, didn't have any kids or anything like that. And it was now or never. So I just jumped ship. Yeah. And here we are in a unit and we've got one of those nice heating things on, which is very expensive to run. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've been, I've been running okay. that thing. It's worked out well. Oh, oh that's yeah, what yeah, you were, yeah. I, th I thought that was just no, no, no. Because I can your actually brain just looking at the light going. Because uh, oh. no, no. yeah. <laughs> I can afford to keep that on for about 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Because they're mean, very, you insist on having this bloody thing on the whole time. You insist on trying to turn it off every five seconds. Yes, I do. Also, tap over there, 150 pounds. I will never get over that. Do we have a tap? Yes. Is it worth 150 quid? No. My point is. Well, is my point? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I can, what I can tell you, though, is that I came in here on Sunday to work on the Porsche and I might have had the heater on all day. Uh, oh, for crying out loud. Oh. No one told me not to. What, the, what my point is, is that I jumped ship because I wasn't in control of my destiny, my future, my work life, anything, budgets, and now I am, and now you guys are as well. Yeah. And it is very freeing. Yeah, it is. So you've got really, really big plans. You know, we were talking about doing a, a Porsche road trip to the Nürburgring. Mm -hmm. You want to do stuff with your MX-5. Um, but away from that, obviously, every good YouTube channel needs to... Are you okay? You're squinting. Uh, I'm just going to go to sleep. Mm. Every good YouTube channel, and you are a good YouTuber. You've got over 100,000 subscribers in like four days. Every good YouTube channel needs to have a dependable, good, solid, reliable workhorse mm. of a crew car. Which is what you filmed yesterday. Oh, no. I don't think we need one. So how did... No. Really? No, no. But how did that all un unfold? Because 
Edwin, you arrived in your E36. I was like, oh, okay. I can't wait to see whatever the car was mm. with, with Will behind the uh, wheel. And then you arrived in your Clio 172. I was like, is that your crew car, the 172? Mm-hmm. It, it, oh, it, it is. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna uh, we decided two cars is better than yeah. right. one. So the whole towing thing. No. Yeah, so no, you didn't yeah. want a tow car? No, 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 no. no we won't bother. The Porsche will be running. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so, so the fine. money that was paid for said tow car, what? Uh, that's just an investment. <laughs> right, okay. Um, was it just an investment into a man that you just like the look of and you're like, hey, we'll, we'll give you over £4,000. That's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut the bullshit. Okay. So, <laughs> we went to go buy a, a crew car yesterday. Yes. And we decided, hey, Birmingham gets a lot of flack for buying cars. Deserved. R- Rory will. You, yeah, shouldn't, yeah. you shouldn't buy a car from Birmingham, all that sort of stuff. So we thought, let's test that. We shouldn't have tested that. Do you want to do it explain? I don't, well, we don't want to ruin it too much, but we actually wanted to, to to disprove that and go there and say, do you know what? There are good people in Birmingham. Yeah. And if when you watch the video, uh, you'll find out that, that there aren't... There aren't good people. There aren't good people in Birmingham. Yeah. Rory I proves mean, that. Yeah. So, so, so when people always proof. say, like, how do I lost 90k on cars? Imagine your only pool of buying cars is in Birmingham. It's quite yeah, easy but, to oh, do, shit, isn't it? Yeah. You, you can yeah. leave. Though. Yeah, it's possible. No, no, we, we I weren't couldn't. allowed to leave for a video. Yeah. Your life isn't a video. Yeah. You may leave. Yeah, but sometimes they were quite <laughs> far away. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, we bought a car. We'll, we'll leave the car unnamed. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, you know, we, we looked around it, you know, went through the paperwork. Everything was good. It was good. It was a more expensive one, but we had a time limit. More? Uh, hey, hey now. Did you run a car vertical report? Might not have. Oh, fuck. But we did ask for a car vertical on Ben's car, who drove us there, and yes. that was clean. It was clean. So that's all we can ask for, really. Right, okay, okay, um, okay. No, we, yeah, we bought it, and then on the way home, <laughs> Will, I started to, there were a few little bits wrong, fine. Uh, was it, you know? Yeah. Small bits. Small bits. Yeah, up to £100 max. Yeah. Okay. You know, and yeah. then... It's Already like, on a very expensive version <laughs> of that car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then it started to judder around roundabouts. And I was like, maybe maybe it's a wheel speed sensor or something. I'll turn traction off. And mm-hmm. uh, did it with traction control off. And I was like, you know, <sighs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's still something, you know, turning related wheel speed. And, and is this four wheel drive, this car? Or? It's a four wheel drive car. It so it's quite a large car. Um, mm. And then it started doing it on the straights as well. So, right. you know, something maybe gearbox, something maybe transfer case. Or... But when I drove it home, not a problem. It, it could be user error. Not a problem. It could be. Did I, you stop off in a pub it. and get drunk and then just drive it home? Yeah, we're like, what's and this then it's <laughs> Why is the windscreen all hazy? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we've, we filmed the first half of that video. So we, as of right now, we know that we've bought it. We, yes. might, not end, we might not own it by the end of the video. Okay. We'll see. So okay. this car's at Will's at the moment, then, mm-hmm. is it? And, and you just didn't feel confident in driving? Well... <laughs> right. what, I did, what I would rather do if it breaks which yeah. it won't I'd rather it breaks on a shoot but you've got a phone something. Will you Preferably could, with you could have just driving. recorded little clips on your phone yeah but I needed to get here as well right so oh, and you're saying, not, oh you're saying that, that you no, wouldn't no, have got here no no no, no. I, we would have, I would have got here and also in such comfort okay. oh, um, such comfort but I thought bring the Clio you know save, save that so on. long and short of it is is there ever a time when buying a car from Birmingham is acceptable? As of right now, no. Yes. I bought two cars from Birmingham. And? And they were both fine. Okay. But yesterday, no. <laughs> but also, you don't own cars that long. You keep cars no, for like two true. months. So the, the moment that anything comes, you're like, ask gone. <sighs> yeah, but... Um, yeah, okay. All right. But I did have two good experiences in Birmingham. That's true. Mm. This is going to be a very expensive year, isn't it? <laughs> the dodgiest car I ever bought was in Birmingham. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's amazing. Go it was on. a Jaguar X-Type that um, <laughs> basically I, I sort of, I took it in for an MOT after I bought it because it only had like two months left. And the guy went and went, there's no way that this should have had an MOT for the last four years. Because <laughs> <laughs> he lifted up the carpet and there was a hole in the footwell. I, I would I'd probably say you could fit a full-size football for it. Um, and then what they'd done, they just put sort of uh, under seal over the top of a base, like a, I think it was a piece of plastic they'd used to cover this hole and then just under sealed it over the top. The engine management light was on, but they just removed the bulb from it. I like it. Um, and yeah, there was, a, there was quite a lot of other things wrong with it, but it was, it was the worst car I've ever bought. Um, and from that, Birmingham. Which is f- for Rory saying something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Do you remember when... I wanted to buy that Alpha 75. Oh my God, The yeah. 2.5 yeah, V6. Yeah, yeah, And it was on, I think it was on collecting cars, wasn't it? Collecting yeah. cars. And I spoke to the guy and then I think the auction ran 
And then I spoke to him and I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do a deal. So we actually drove up to Birmingham because I wanted, I really wanted a red um, Alpha 75, 2.5 V6. Got there. I think we may have already mentioned this on podcast, but we, we got to the guy, got to the guy's lockup. And he was like, uh, all right, bro. And I was like, yeah, all right. And uh, sure enough, the car was outside his, his, uh, his little unit, his little garage. And it was quite warm. And I was like, oh, you know, I did say, you know, do you mind just, you know, just leaving it switched off so I can have a cold start? And he was like, oh, yeah, you know, I just, just wheeled it out, just pulled it out of my garage. And uh, I was like, yeah, but it's very, very warm. And he was like, what did he say? His wording was very strange. Oh, I, ju- I just took it for a spin because I thought it might be my last time to, to go for It wasn't a- even spin. He said, like, I took it for a blast up and down the road a few yeah. times or something. And I was <laughs> okay. like, mm, interesting. Because it might be his last time to drive it. Yeah, yeah. And then we got to the back of the car. And, you know, you just like put, put your hand against the exhaust just to feel that, that there's no holes in the, in the exhaust system. So just make sure there's good pressure. It was cold. Like the, the rear of the exhaust was very cold. Had to look underneath and sure enough, it wasn't even connected. Yeah, it was. And then there was rust everywhere and so many blemishes. And I was like, I've, I've been on a train for like two and a half hours. Oh, well, that's the thing. It took me quite a while. I don't know if you remember this. It took me, I, I think even Alex in the back of his mind knew that not to buy it. But Alex being Alex was like oh, I can't have this as a wasted journey so I, I, you could tell that he wanted to still buy this car and I, I it was a while of just going no 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 we are not buying this car this this yeah. could be a you world actually of put pain. your mummy put her foot down <laughs> really? yeah, 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 yeah yeah I I just knew that it would be a world of pain that car because there was a few of electrical gremlins as well mm, with it where yeah. lights were coming up for random he was like going yeah it just does that it's an alpha <laughs> 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 yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. So you definitely walked away. And um, I'm actually looking for a new car um, for my wife, Rianne, because uh, she she's had an up for ages. Yeah. And um, there was the perfect Mini. It's like perfect spec and everything. And I looked where it was, Birmingham. I was like, no, just I literally just closed the laptop, threw it out the window. Oh, I was like, I can't have it. Can't have it. So um, anyway, that video is nearly sh- finished shooting. Or we'll still see got- tomorrow. We'll you, see. Oh my you know, god! You might find out on a future podcast. What <laughs> okay. Happened about okay. Car. But in the meantime, you've been working on this Porsche 911. The, the Porsche. first first episode comes out in two days. Friday, what six o'clock maybe? So two days time. Everyone who is subscribed to the Top Dead Center YouTube channel will see the first proper editorial video where you go out and you buy this. Yeah, another good p- car purchase. From another us. solid purchase. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm turned around and I'm looking. At a seat or yeah. half a seat, because it is. You might call it a seat. It's. I mean, it's 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 quite crispy. Yeah, it is quite crispy. So you've got a lot of work to do. Don't you? Yeah. yeah. See, you know, with Matt Armstrong videos, he usually buys like a crash or a scrap car, mm-hmm. and he fixes them up, and then he usually gets that car all fixed up, and he gives you a price, and he's like, oh, "I got it fixed up for like twenty grand below retail." Yeah. Is that going to be the case with this car? Yes. Actually, Way under. Yes. Way yeah. Under. Yes. And I mean. Because he restores them back to factory. Listen, nobody said anything about factory. <laughs> <laughs> fa- if you, like, a factory up in Birmingham, maybe. Uh, uh, okay, oh, okay, there we okay. go. Sorry, everyone in Birmingham. So this isn't going to have its full interior re- redone? And- well, we've been set a challenge by Alex to beat Phil. So we're going to need to lose some weight. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. And then the car will need to have some work as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, if they don't beat Phil as well, Edwin has to eat some molten plastic. Uh, does, unfortunately, yes. Ben's cut out the video, so there's okay. No, no we're going to say it on this. We are going to say it huh? on here. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, if Edwin loses, he has to eat some molten plastic. I will crunch yes. a bit of plastic, and that that will be in the video, won't it? <laughs> Might be. In the video. It will be in the. It has to be in the video. Yeah. <laughs> so, shall we? Shall we just uh, set the stage now? So, both cars. Yep. Cobra. No. Uh, oh, no, no. We need something smaller. Something uh, smaller. The roundabout bigger. outside. A, a, a just, go, just around it a couple of times. Just around it a go kart time. track. A, oh, go kart track. No, what about Cobra? Cobra. Because Co- Cobra's quite cheap. We can do Cobra. We can do Cobra? We can, we can do, do Cobra. Cobra. Okay. We just need you drive in the Porsche. Yeah. yeah. I'll drive Phil. No, 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 no. What? We, what? Need, we, need, we need a base. We need someone to yeah. drive both cars. I want... So you have to give up. You have to let someone drive your car hard. All right, Ben Collins. Okay, fine. Who's your driver? Ben Collins. No, 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 no. He's my driver. You need to find your own driver. No, they both have the Stig. No, sorry. (laughs) (laughs) He just puts a helmet on. I'm like, I can't actually disprove that. (laughs) I've had a lap of Nokia. I'll I'll drive you. Oh, right. I would be fully on board with that. Would you be okay with that? Yeah. Okay, well, there we go. We're done. You know what I should do? Shall I find Ben Collins? Perfect. So Alex seems to have this habit of trying to phone famous people during the podcast. 90% Trying and failing most of the time. Yeah, 90% of the time. They don't pick up, but... 
Sometimes they do. We got Chris Harris on the podcast once. Oh, oh we love Chris Harris. How how upset was he to be just called in the middle of nowhere? Um, well, you could tell he answered the phone. He didn't obviously know who he was answering the yeah. phone to. <laughs> was the Unknown. And then he had a massive conversation with Ben, and I was just sitting there. Yeah, I was like the third wheel. It was fantastic. <laughs> right. Um, let's see how desperate Ben Collins is to be. Yeah, and then when you tell YouTube him it's, it's a fire damaged nine nine six that we repaired, and he's like, "I'm I'm busy that day. Mm-hmm. Oh no." Right. Let's. Um, here we go. Sorry. It is so, sorry, Ben. I love that you have him saved as Ben Collins' steak. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. case. <laughs> oh, there are other name. Ben Collins. <clears throat> oh, hello, Ben Collins. Stick, how are you? Good, mate. How are you? I'm all right. You sound like you're in bed. Are you on a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> are you in bed? I, no, I'm not in bed. Oh. I've just done a night shoot, though. Oh, really? Oh. Are you tired? Yeah. Genu- Am I on a podcast, though? Do I need to sound cool and interesting, or can I just be relaxed? Well, no, you always sound a bit shit. Um, but yeah, you are. No, you, no, you're not on a podcast. Uh, but you are. Right, fine. But you are. <laughs> ben, you're on a podcast. You're on a podcast. <laughs> For frick's sake. Right. What's going on? Uh, so I don't know if you noticed, but um, we, well, there's there's a new channel called Top Dead Center. It's done 100,000 subscribers, like 400,000 views on the first episode. They have got a project car, which is a uh, fire damaged Porsche 911 996. I know you like those. So they are as good as 997. Oh, oh, five oh. grand, okay. Five grand. It was five grand to be fair. It looks like shit though. So the guys have got their work cut <laughs> out. However, the guys Edwin and Will are going to be fixing up that car, um, making it a bit lighter, making it sharper, blah blah blah. And then we've got a little bet going that that car will beat my Phil, my V6 MX5 around Kerbera. And I was saying, yeah, I'll drive Phil and you, dr- you, Edwin, drive the Porsche. And he was like, no, we need someone independent. Um, so, Ben, if you're up for it, would you drive both cars as hard as you possibly could so we could see which car I'd is faster? To. Fantastic. I'd love to. Do you think your Phil will survive a lap in my hands, though? No. Probably, probably not, to be <laughs> fair. But it would be fucking good on YouTube if you broke it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. That'd be great. Well, Kerbera, yeah, the Grand Prix track, former Grand Prix circuit, as we know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The Kerbergring. <laughs> Great, one of the great wonders of the north. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, we will. Uh, I'll give you a shout, and we'll book that in at some yeah. point, maybe in April or so. Uh, ben, just just no. out of interest, unrelated. How do you like your nine nine six is set up? Just you know, just... <laughs> factory. Oh, oh shit! Uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what are they doing? I think I found their I found their um, page. Yes, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it give it a watch because um yeah the guys uh the guys are on the cusp of something great and wonderful okay. and we can't wait. Exciting. Well I'll yeah. count the corners to see which one makes it the furthest. I think that could oh, fantastic. be fantastic. Yeah. As well as the lap time. Anyway, while, while we've got you, Ben, what are you up to? What have you been up to? Well, I'm doing a car chase at the moment in London, which is cool for a new film. Fantastic. So that's exciting. <clears throat> um, falling in love with some cars I've never driven before, which I can't reveal yet. But okay. I look forward to featuring those because they're pretty cool. A little drift monster that I've been in. Wow. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, back into YouTube land. So I've just done a, a really mad podcast with my old Top Gear boss. Andy yep, Wilmer. seen it. Yep, yep. Yeah. And I spoke more to him in that podcast than I did in eight years. He was He's quite a mysterious individual a man of mystery um is, is the woman so yeah, it's great yeah. to catch up with him and sort of pick his brains um but and, lovely guy and ben what's fun. your what's your podcast called <laughs> <laughs> so I'm saying, uh, he can't remember <laughs> it's, it's on in all good places it, it, is, it, is. it should have bumped out that cheeky alex uh, <laughs> Oh, fantastic fantastic yeah. all right ben well uh yeah good catching up and good good that you're in for uh for our little race that we'll be doing maybe in april time always love it thanks for thinking of me and uh, catch you soon all right thanks ben have a good day bye cheers bye, bye. Wow. There, there you is. go. That's a Stig. <laughs> a Stig driving our 911. Yeah. Uh-oh. We also, got... it's Stig themed currently. It is, it is Stig, Stig themed. You could yeah. kill the Stig in your 911. That fantastic. Oh. Think of the YouTube title. Yeah. <laughs> we killed the Stig. We killed the Stig. That would be fantastic. Think of the lawsuits. <laughs> That's not so, I think in the meantime, I think I need to have a little chat with Bruno because he wanted to do a little bit of... No, yeah. no, 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 no. What? No, but you're, exactly. you're doing loads of stuff. Yeah, because it's, on, it's been on fire. You've already had your chance to modify that car. You have to leave that car. <sighs> Shit. Um, well, oh no, I need to do the diff bushes. Yeah. Allow me diff bushes. Okay, that's fine. fine. You can have a diff bush. Okay. Right. That, that, one diff one, bush. One, one <laughs> diff bush. <laughs> in exchange, we get supercharger kit. No. Fair's fair. <laughs>
<laughs> that card did try and kill him on the Nurburgring a few it times. It was so shit. Oh. It was so bad on the Nurburgring. It was like a pendulum. Oh, this is great. Yeah, this is yeah, awesome. yeah. fantastic. But on, on, on Kerber, but it's Kerber's, not so bad. Kerber's different. It's a, yeah. it's a bigger test. Do you know what I was thinking, right? Is there a petrol or diesel powered car that you can think of that is a reasonable budget that would be that shitty old Tesla? That I've Around got. Kerber? Around Kerber. Is there anything? Wait, how that many you can how many of? laps? Because like, that, no, yeah. right, that okay. Tesla after like two laps will be it will derate. Right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be oh, if we just say literally one flying lap, so from start one flying lap, because I think that that Tesla would probably, if say uh, an FK two um, Civic Type R would do thirty five, thirty six seconds, I reckon a Tesla would be doing thirty one, thirty two. Genuinely. Oh, the way that thing gets off the line mm. is unreal. Yeah, I was next to you at the lights when we were leaving the unit the other night, and it was even for it being an old one. Is no, I, that wasn't me. Okay, <laughs> that was no, me. no. Up to uh, we were on the motorway, but there was a junction on the motorway mm -hmm. that you went up to seventy. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. It was very fast, though, wasn't it? it? Was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spe is it speaking of very fast, you got a letter through, didn't you? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, no. A brown See? one. Oh. Brown letter. So, you know, <laughs> uh, a couple of podcasts ago, I mentioned that I may... I was, I was on the M40, man. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't have any speed limits, man. What's going on? Yeah. But I was driving towards Birmingham. Mm. Oh. So... They, um, they were trying to stop you. They were trying to slow you down. They were trying to slow <laughs> me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go any further. <laughs> <laughs> stop right there. Uh, so, yeah, uh, there was a, a transit van on a bridge with a man... Or a woman uh, with a camera gun pointing at my vehicle as I was doing an overtake. Um, no, the, the letter isn't here, Rory. I've oh. actually given it to Rianne because she needs to post it. What? <laughs> I've not posted it You're back. You're trying to get Rianne to take your points. So that's really shitty of you. It's in an incinerator. <laughs> right now. She said she was driving up the M40, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, I got caught. <clears throat> it, <sighs> 84 miles an hour. <gasps> hey. Happens to the best of us. Hey, hey. Mm. And I was doing an overtake because I was very frustrated with the cars in front because... That doesn't sound like you. They were in the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I clocked it. That is, I think, one of only maybe two or three times in my life that I've seen um, a camera on top of a bridge on the M40. Yeah. So they must have got a lot of people on that day. They mm. must have... Maybe they're like, oh, you know, Brexit and budget cuts and stuff. We need to make a bit more money back. Yeah, yeah coming up to the end of the month, they're like, Guess yeah. what? end of the tax year as well. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I've had to fill in a big form that says, um, you may get three points, um, or would you like to do a speed awareness thing? So I've ticked it and I've like gone over it in black like 20 times saying, please, sir. I, I didn't realise the speed awareness courses are, are long three as well. Hours. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> I was speaking to... Dan, you know, artist yeah, yeah. Dan, who does all, all the artwork here. He had to do a speed awareness course recently. And I said to him, uh, will that put you off? Or like, have you learned something? And he was like, yeah, I've learned that it's so fucking boring. I don't ever want to speed again because I don't want to do a speed awareness course. <laughs> so fair play, the speed awareness course does work. Yeah. So I would, I really, if you're watching um, Thames Valley Police, could I please do a speed awareness course? Because this is literally the first time that I've been caught speeding. Not that I've ever sped before, it's, yeah. it, I was having a bad day and, uh, you know, it's just, you know, could, stuff. Could mm. you imagine if they stuck one of those vans on there at nine o'clock at night on the M40? Oof. I'd be in prison. <laughs> 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 and if they, they like camoed it all out and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh they, my they God. They do have those. They, what? Near what? me in Northampton, Northamptonshire, they have vans that are grey, unmarked. What? what? Yeah. That's, that's not allowed. That's now, illegal. You shouldn't speed. But no. I think that's dirty. Yeah. yeah. Give us a chance. At that's the like, very least. Give us a chance to yeah, slow down. Yeah, give me yeah. a chance to get to the speed limit and then go, oh, I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, because I can't go over that. You've got you've got previous, don't you? Uh, uh, Is this something we need to move on from? Will? Yeah, we can. We can. <laughs> <laughs> we can move on. Yeah. It did ruin my life for five years. It, it's fair to say that you weren't even given the option to do a speed awareness course. I did ask. And <laughs> the, the, the lovely chap in the high vis jacket with police on his jacket. <laughs> he said, I don't think so. <laughs> and there's the hook. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that is funny. So funny. Um, when are you moving from Northampton then? Because that oh, sounds like a shitty place. It's actually really bad. Yeah, it's <laughs> really bad. No, I'm in, I think I'm in an okay part. 
Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, you're and cool. I'm near Silverstone. I'm near all those bits. And, and it's okay. And how often do you go to Silverstone? Once. <laughs> okay. A day. Just <laughs> once. Stop off on the way <laughs> to you once ever. <laughs> well, you drive past it quite a lot, don't you? You see the Silverstone start sign, which is pretty yeah, much yeah. good enough, isn't I'll it? I'll go there yeah. again. I've done Silverstone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're driving past it. You're like, morning, Lewis. Yeah, yeah heading morning, off. Mate, yeah. Yeah. Lewis? Yeah. Who's Lewis? Hamilton. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> I thought you were talking about your former boss. Liz. No, no, we don't talk about Liz, my former boss. <laughs> Speaking of Silverstone. Yes. I have a story. <gasps> oh, this is so good. Prepare yourselves. Buckle in, boys. Okay, here Buckle we go. in. Let this is so sip. good. So I, I was doing some filming for P1 with Matt and Tommy. Oh, well, you, you're cheating on all the Yeah, for, for, well, it was, they just needed a bit of a hand because their usual videographer can't do it. And then, yes, for people who don't know, they also used to be a part of the car throttle team. So that's why Good. we all know them. Yeah, yeah. And I actually used to film, do all, all the main stuff for WTF1. But yeah, right. anyway. Just bragging yeah. much. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but yeah, Sorry, so, Rory, do you have 100,000 subscribers? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I was doing the f filming for them. And then we were in Silverstone in the F1 Museum, which is like their home ground. So like usually if I'm out with Matt and Tommy at any sort of F1 event or anything F1 related, they're getting stopped all the time for photos, mm -hmm. all that stuff and everything. Anyway, we've done the whole day filming there, you know, done the thing. And then we're like going, oh, let's get some breakfast. There's a cafe on site. So we're at the cafe. So before you go to the cafe, had they been inundated? No, nope, or... not once had they been asked not for, for a photo or anything. No, <gasps> That's no, quite embarrassing, no. especially for Matty. Yeah. He, no. Because he loves F1. Like when I think of F1, I think of Matty. Yeah. yeah, yeah but no. he did get stopped once. No, not once. Oh, sorry, Matty. I'm just reveling in this. <laughs> so it was many times. We were, it, we were around there for... Hours and there were people around, lots and lots like of people, actual human lots people. Of, we had to F1 walk past a whole queue of people who were queuing, and not once. and not once, not once. Wow, not once. Oh, Matty. Oh, so then anyway, we're at the cafe, yep. And then some guy walks up to us and goes, All right, guys, are you Rory? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> and Matty was there after the guy left and went. Never would I see the fucking day <laughs> where I'd be standing in the background as you're the one getting recognised. Oh, I love it. I love oh, it so that's much. <laughs> oh, oh, I took great joy in that. I bet you did. Oh, how that how much good. did you pay him? Oh, a lot of money. Yeah. A lot of money. But it was worth every fucking penny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also, when you told me this yesterday, I, I sent a video of me like reenacting it. You oh, know, you like did, One of those yeah. dramatic reenactments. <laughs> and I sent it to him and he was like, fuck you. <laughs> and that's the last I've heard of Matty. Yeah, yeah. He's actually coming here today. Today? Yeah, one thirty. Is gonna... he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. What time is it now? It is 11.48. Okay, cool. That's very exciting. Yeah. Um, right, so we've talked a bit about the new channel. Mm -hmm. But for people who might not know you guys very well from, you know, CT or especially Overdrive, because it was a smaller channel than CT, Tell me, tell us about how you got into cars, your love of cars, and why you are obsessed with cars, and what gets you going. Mm. Oh, oh. Wow. oh yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think it's probably my dad that gets me into cars. Um, yeah, same. Because, yeah. <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? Why is everyone laughing? <laughs> yeah, it's probably my dad. Yeah, he had, he had some cool cars when I was growing up. Um, and then, yes, yeah, so basically, as soon as I could drive and you know pass my test it was just car because actually before that i was more into football for a bit were you yeah i was more into football but then as soon as i could actually get a car that was it i was are you still into football i still do like if football, you had yeah. to pick one cars or football i think think about it would, this it would be it would be cars there you yeah. go. No, no it would it would be it would be cars i, I could never dedicate all my spare time, all my money, Playing my football. life, yeah. my relationship <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, to, to football, whereas cars, I, I'm more than willing to sacrifice just about anything. Yeah. Um, Even your license. Yeah. <laughs> my, my what? Yeah. <laughs> 42 days of what? I know. Um, <laughs> um, and that, yeah, that, that was, as soon as I could buy a car, I was like, I just need to keep buying cars and driving mm. cars and going to events. And it's never, I always thought like eventually maybe it'll slow down. Maybe I won't want to go to events. Maybe I won't want to modify yeah. cars, but it hasn't. So I'm kind of doomed to yeah. the end. Oh now. shit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're it's in the right good. place, aren't yeah, you? I know. So let's just make some videos about it. Covered. <laughs> so <laughs> Will, when did you, when did you first start a car for all then? What, what was? Uh, I was 2016, um, which for those unaware of 2016 was the great cull. Yeah. Uh, oh, many God. were let go yeah. and forgotten. Was so that when Adnan forgotten. woke up in a really bad mood and he was like, 
No, you're done. You're done. <laughs> yeah. That was a but, great time. But apart from, I was hired and then everyone else was was let go. Yeah. So I was just an intern before that. So I had no like experience. And I'm sat there at my desk, not a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> and people were going in the boardroom, coming out of the boardroom and just going out the door <laughs> at 10 a.m. So it I was, was there like, It was bad. It was yeah, really it was, bad. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. Th- this is bad. And, but it was a bit of a restructure. You, you went? Yeah, you know. We don't yeah. talk about that. No, yeah. So I, I was in sales at that point. And as I said, I'm not a good salesman. Because you were uh, 18, weren't you? When I was you 18 when arrived. I joined. Yeah. I, I had got a place at university lined up for automotive engineering because it had the word car in the title. Uh, and then, He says even though it's called automotive engineering. Yeah, I didn't yeah, see but it. It doesn't it, have it, car it, in well, the title. It's, it's a car. It, an could, be, <laughs> it could be a bus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really did make a good choice there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and got offered a offered a job uh, doing sales. I was like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll be good at it. I wasn't good at it. So what sales experience did you have at the time? Um, I had sold a car, okay, maybe, right. maybe one or two, and that's it. Okay. I, was, I was just not good, but I was just happy to be in the office, yeah, really. Yeah. And it was just... Because it was, I was on one side of the office, and Alex and all the editorial guys were on the other, and they'd be like, "Um, like what, what wheels are on this?" I'd be like, uh, uh, "The the <laughs> yeah, 18s, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. they're on this." <laughs> um, and so yeah, I got made redundant in 2016. And the, when I when I went into the boardroom, I said to Adman, uh, I, was, "I was such a little wet wipe." I was like, "You know, if me leaving means that the co- company can continue, that's okay." <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and I was, but I said, "If you need any help while I'm." Like, if you guys are struggling with anything editorial, give me a shout, because I'd been doing some writing <coughs> yeah. for, for CT at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, they were like, oh, yeah. You used actually, to do all the eBay things. I used to do all the eBay articles. <gasps> yeah. Oh, wow. That was, a, I was like a, a, basically on intern pay, and it was like a 200 grand deal. And they were like, hey, <laughs> yeah, you can just write it. And I was like, okay, cool. Because well. doing those eBay things, because I had to do those. Yeah. They were the bane of my life. I, I them. hated them. I loved them. Okay, yeah. It was like just come up with come up with six rare cars. I was like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. What was this? What, what, what? So we had a big eBay deal, and part of that deal was uh, we had to create editorial that would go on eBay's landing page, and mm. it would be like guides to you know six of the rarest cars or stuff like that. And it just it took so much time. It took me so much time. Maybe not so much time for Edwin, but you would just create them, and I would just go through and just change wording here and there and then we'd just go live and i'd be like thank god for edwin yeah 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 <laughs> but so yeah did that got made redundant did some work in i did ebay fit carried on doing ebay while i was made redundant and then adam was like you can come back on social and that was at the time when will was also on social and so we met then and then yeah like will said every weekend we'd be be like oh it's a car show we can get free tickets through ct let's go <clears throat> And we thought we were getting the good end of the deal. They'd be like, you can have a free five pound ticket if you work on Saturday. Wow. And we were like, oh, are you joking? <laughs> I don't think we ever expensed fuel or anything no, like that. We, no, never. We just went there fully out of our own pocket. Filmed. To film. film photoed. Yeah. And then headed home. Yeah. So yeah, uh, same for me. I'm, I, my dad got me into cars. Uh, he was a, he's an old, old Italian slash German car fanatic yeah uh, so i was i was brought up hating bmws really my, yeah and then when i was six i saw the italian job the remake and it had an eight series in it and i asked the, my dad sorry the remake the remake when you were so, six yeah 2003 jesus oh my God. jesus so um, some people rebel they do like you know they do drugs they go out and party you rebelled by buying bmws, buying BMWs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's yeah so old bmws are my thing but also just anything weird I like yeah. weird things. You do like weird things. I do like weird things. I've got to say, I remember, it was probably one of the coolest experiences was going to Edwin's house when I bought my MX-5 and then just turning up and in his garage, it's it's like, is it a free car garage? It's free. It should be a three car garage. It, it, it has more. But yeah, his dad's got a free car garage and there was a ramp in it. Yeah, and I was no. like, he's got proper lift in it. Dreams. A ramp at home. Yeah, now yeah. that is the coolest thing ever. It, it really should mean that there's no excuse to have any broken cars. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Don't it's worry it's the it. opposite, isn't it's it? It's the opposite. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. They're all broken. And the dogs at your house. Yeah, they're big. They are big. Yeah, big oh, dog. yeah. That was in a video, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. yeah. yeah. cappuccino video. <laughs> Suzuki cappuccino with your great one of your great with dads. My, Which my, one was that one? That's Hooli. Hooli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's still biggest. kicking about. Yeah, yeah. He's still yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, you touched upon car shows and how you went to car shows. Shout out to Shedfest, May the 4th um, at Mallory Park. We have got Shedfest uh, V2, bigger yep. and better, 10,000 people. And the Top Dead Center guys are going to be there with their own marquee, with their own merchandise. And um, I'm, you're going to have to uh, exercise your sales hat again. Oh, of course. So, yes. There yeah. are shirts. 
Not they will currently. be for sale. Okay. There will be stickers and stuff. We need to get onto Chris actually oh, and get yeah. those created. Oh. And and there's two more mystery guests that won't get announced till a later date. Oh. Who's that? Who's that? Well, it's mystery guests. Oh, it okay. is it is mystery guests. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Who's that? Um, uh, who's that? Is it the per- uh, um, mm. I can't think. Anyway, let's <laughs> move on. Please get your Shedfest tickets. Um, all of the show car tickets have run out. Spectators tickets, uh, we still have a few left. So get those tickets um, because it is going to be an absolutely amazing show. We've got loads of really good partners on board as well. So yeah, get tickets for this year's best shit car show. It's going to be fantastic. Um, so we all went for dinner mm-hmm. recently didn't we with a couple of mystery guests as well yeah, yeah. Um, who shan't be whoever known. they are yes <laughs> yeah. and we were all reminiscing about um, time when the one two three four of us used to work for car throttle yeah and there were just a lot of stories mm. many of which we can't actually can't, no. actually discuss no. no but we have had some good times yeah some interesting times uh, times on track and times when we've been out those are the ones that we probably can't actually. Yeah. <laughs> actually. Oh, I've just remembered. Edwin, you were there you were there on the Wales trip, weren't you? Where we went and did uh were you there on the I thirty was it the I thirty N or uh yes, I believe. I thought what was that? Um slow car, slow car fast, yeah, fast slow driver. car first driver. Oh. Do you remember the night before? But I do remember that before now. <laughs> yes, yes. Purple uh, Turtle, I believe it was. Uh, well, well, Turtle oh, Bay. Turtle sorry, Bay. Turtle Bay. Turtle oh, Bay. yeah. Where, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't too well the morning no, after, were you? No, yeah. no. So we, we decided to go to Turtle Bay before we went to a track shoot. That was it. Yeah. Yes. And, yes. Um, Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. They they had two for one cocktails. They on. did have that. And, and I, at I, one point, I think it was eight for one. Yeah, there was there was lots. <laughs> eight for one. And I think How they did, did we get away with expensing that? <laughs> expensing. We did, didn't we? Yeah. yeah, of course we did. Yeah, and oh, I was I was woke up in the morning knowing that I had to basically fly a drone round track <laughs> while being sitting in the passenger seat yeah. while looking at a screen and I was just dreading it because I was I was throwing up for about two hours in the morning <laughs> yeah. I was throwing up while I was doing the laps yeah I, <laughs> I remember coming down to the uh, to the lobby where we were all like convening to leave and just seeing Rory just in shell shock just like staring at the floor would well, you remember do you remember in the morning that we were desperately trying to find somewhere that did breakfast yep and we ended up walking all the way around the town oh that yeah. was so bad because for some reason, we refused to eat breakfast at the hotel. Yeah. And we spent a good 40 minutes walking around to then go back to the hotel and, and eat breakfast. breakfast there, yeah. <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah, but we have many other stories. Yeah. Um, we will probably, we actually have to have a group discussion. Yeah, we need so to look at what's allowed. What, yeah. what is allowed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's too many people to put to run things past. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can we tell that? Can we include you? Can we include that yeah. part? <laughs> yeah. we, we need a Google sheet that people can tick their name yeah. on. Say, yeah. yes, I'm part of this yeah, story. I'm allowed. Can we put the it's pizza consent. in the oven? <laughs> yeah. yeah. As you do. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, elaborate. No, I can't elaborate on that one. <laughs> well, uh, right. This is, this is another point of the show. Show? Podcast. All right. Ego. Um, <laughs> Where, where we go to uh, 20 questions. Ooh. So, oh. William, have you decided on a motor vehicle that we need to try and guess and you can only answer with yes or no answers? Yes. Do you have a car? Yes. Question one, what is it? Yes. <laughs> oh, Ooh. so He's I'm good. right. He's good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you want to kick us off, Rory? Question one. Is it European? Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Yes. European Are you in- sure? in- includes the UK. Yes. Okay. Is it a UK car? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two questions. Is the company still in production? Does it still make cars? No. Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 Is it pre 1980s? Yes. It can be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Could do. Is it a TVR? No. Oh. Is it powered by another manufacturer's engine? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Do you want that to ask an, another question? Yeah. Um, uh, is it a V8? No. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Did the company produce motorbikes as well? <gasps> Very good. Right? No. Oh, that's a good question, though. It's good, but it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it a sports car? No. Ooh. Ooh. Is it a 4x4? Four four? No. Right, we're at 10 <laughs> questions here. Is it a hatchback? Yes. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, You're never getting this. <laughs> <laughs> this hurts my soul. Is it an Austin? Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So is it an Austin Vanden Plas? Yes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and an Allegro Vanden Plas. Yeah. Oh, there Very we nice. go. 13 questions. Very good. I was waiting for a big grill question because I go, yes. Yeah. You'd be skewed into <laughs> yeah. Rolls Royce or Bentley. But, oh, so, oh, as you were saying, you're never getting this. Never. Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> you shouldn't have got that. No. <laughs> if Edwin wasn't here, we probably may not have got that. Yeah. I don't know. Rory's question, the bike question, that was good. No, I wouldn't have thought good. that. Yeah. But that's a good way of narrowing that down. It's because he's from Birmingham. <laughs> that's where all the, everything yeah. was made. Can I there. steal that? <laughs> <laughs> Does it have wheels? No. <laughs> Is it on bricks? Yes. <laughs> How much was the stereo worth? <laughs> uh, right, I've run out of things to say. Rory, you're next. Oh, electric oh. car. So I've got the question. The what? Back to electric cars. Ah. Oh. Wow. <clears throat> Rory's one hour at the uh, end. Look, look I'm, 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 I'm going down on this. And this oh, is... Right. Right. Oh, 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 it's a family oh, wow. this section. <laughs> and, and these electric cars are going down. Um, so basically, a lot of the manufacturers, what they're trying to petition for now is that they are trying to include because you know obviously they have to hit the target that x percentage of cars need to be um electric yeah so all of them are banding together and basically trying to say can we include plug-in hybrids under this because that's the right thing to do so i got an email from <coughs> person person uh hope you're all good just listen to the latest podcast and for what it's worth robin is a dick so I think that was what? the guy who sent um, the the email about saying I was incorrect. Uh, oh, he, uh, I think the, he sent another one. Did he? Because well, wasn't it the last thing I said uh, over to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I respond? You haven't responded, no. Uh, where's my Where's my laptop? Because I need to... Uh, it's in, uh, hold on, hold on. Are we doing admin now? Hold on, yeah, we... Uh, sorry, right, just let, let carry me, on. Let me read this out then. So he's, he said, I work for a well-known Japanese manufacturer in their European H HQ. Ford. Please keep me nameless. And you, you're pretty much spot on with what you said. Every manufacturer is lobbying, lobbying in the UK for the government to count carbon offset from hybrid and plug-in hybrids towards their... Um, sorry, burping. Towards their ZEV <laughs> mandate. He's emotional about this. Uh, <laughs> unlikely they'll count hybrids, but very likely they'll count plug-in hybrids. Just look at Honda. With one battery electric vehicle in their range, the Honda E, pulled as of this January, because Honda are basically yep. saying that they're not going to do electric cars which they've now price matching against a HRV hybrid. 10K hit out the door, trying to save them 5K against the fine. Because they obviously get fined for every vehicle that they're for when they don't meet the mandate, basically. Yep. Uh, Mazda, one beat BEV? What's a BEV? Ba battery electric vehicle. Battery electric vehicle in their lineup, which has a truly Old shit person. range. And Fiat have just written to the government to ask for support for a form of incentives. Long story short, as much as the UK government believe BEVs are the, the answer, they are not. And at least at the moment, they are not the answer. Oh. And this is from a man who works for a Japanese manufacturer, which apparently... Supposedly. So, yeah. 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 Oh, I do. Yeah. I swear yeah. I do. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> my mum said my mum believes me. <laughs> but, what, all right, come on. We, we've had mine and Alex's opinions. What, what, what are you? your so Before we get into that, should we hear from robin okay go on, so robin is a man who works for an oem yeah and the we got, last we got fights from we do have a lot yeah, of fights each yeah. other. uh so what was the last thing he was, so he's going from this year the uk government is mandating that a certain proportion of new cars sold from every manufacturer have to be zero emissions vehicles blah 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 that was the last thing that he said yeah and then you were like no this fucking shit no no government's never changed their minds have they you were like you were yeah i, well, I, yeah. I went in on you're robin. a little bitch yeah yeah, you? yeah 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 so Robin has come back with, hello again, gents. I'll start with what I know will be a terribly controversial comment in general. I don't disagree with Rory. <gasps> we don't know what the government might do in future. But for manufacturers, a significant deadline has already passed and the ZEV, what's ZEV? 
zero emission vehicle. Oh, Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Wow. The zero emission vehicle mandate was indeed written into law for 2024. I don't work for an EV only brand. It has sold ICE cars for decades, but now all high volume manufacturers who want to sell cars in the UK must do so in line with this legisl legislation. Succinctly, yes, the government might change things, but the car industry has to plan and invest in achieving what the rules say today. 80% mix of zero emissions vehicles in 2030. While zero emission doesn't necessarily mean battery electric vehicles, for most manufacturers, they are the most viable way of achieving that timescale. And as more EVs hit the, hit, uh, hit the roads, more companies will cash in on putting charges where there aren't any, cementing EVs as the norm, as the norm for the foreseeable future. Having now spent a few weeks living with my own EV, I have to agree with Alex that as a form of getting around quickly and easily during the week, they really do make a lot of sense. I'm still keeping my V6 for the weekend, though. Looking forward to seeing you all at Shedfest. Rory, please don't fight me. Cheers. And then Mystery Man. Robin. I'm fighting him. All right. I you think you'll probably lose. I've yeah, never seen him, but... Yeah, he, he, yeah. He's probably... Yeah. Oh, no. In an actual fight, he probably be. Oh, yeah, no, he definitely yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, he agrees with you yeah. in some part, but it is written into law. But that's why they're now trying to change the what counts towards that law, basically. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but that's what... I was never saying that we should stick with combustion. Like, I think plug-in hybrids are, are probably the way to go because for uh, most people, they will be able to do their normal journeys back and forth so on, like, on like, electric. So like the BMW i3, which yeah. I think is a fantastic car. It just doesn't work for, for what we need it for. i3 has got, well, the uh, range extender has got a, a battery, obviously, and then it's got a three-cylinder, or is it maybe, sorry, two-cylinder 600cc mm. engine that just... Charges, charges that battery, which gives you more range. That is a fantastic idea. So the the engine doesn't drive the wheels. The motors drive the wheels. The engines the engine is just there to supplement the motors, which which is good thinking, I think. Is it still plug-in though? That is not plug-in. No. Oh, that's, so that's, that's, not... that's what I think the, the issue is though. If, how in the UK how are we going to have plug-in cars? It's we people in London. Our street when we lived in London, there was a guy who was running a cable up to his second story. Uh, floor yeah. through his window to charge his car. What? This is my whole point. We have no like. You think of all the people living in terraced houses. Yeah. There's there's been no infrastructure in place. Like there there, there is an, a, a structure in place for about what is it? Ten percent of people probably own twenty ten ten percent of people probably own electric cars now. Yeah. I don't think it's even that much. When actually, it's I think it's a higher number of new car sales. But the actual like cars in the UK, I reckon it's probably maybe a couple of percent. Mm, um, about that. but yeah that that seems like already that is what we can handle because we're like all the, when you drive past a lot of these electric car chargers they're, they're full a lot of the time like yeah 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 it's no one's invested in it there's not a way of uh, well even our own electric network if every single car was electric we can't even charge them we'd have blackouts yeah yeah, yeah that's true so, and and also i've been knocking about in the tesla a little bit and charging it at home with a three pin socket <laughs> It charges six miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. Good. Which is not good enough. No. no. And yeah, I could get a wall charger, but I'm not ready to take that no. leap. I had that Honda E when I was at CT yeah. on press loan for six months because I was lucky enough that I could sometimes get press cars. And I was so excited by the Honda E. I mean, we'll probably attest the amount of times I was like, this guy's best looking car. It looks so cool. I love yeah. it. And they said, yeah, you can have one. And they were like, yeah, we can't do a wall charger, so you have to have a three pin. It took 19 hours. To oh, charge it shit. and it would do 100 miles at best yeah yeah it, when it was have they axed the honda e now i think so yeah i think yeah. it's gone yeah, yeah right. no from january that's what he was just saying from oh, january right. oh, yeah. but that's the other thing as well like yeah you and then people come back going oh yeah but you get a wall charger but are you forgetting about a lot of the uk that live in rental accommodation you, yeah you can't you know you can't just install a wall charger and hook yeah. it up to the electrics willy-nilly and it's, you can't plan your journey to work by going via a supercharger so you can get home. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just not feasible. No. But yeah. Um, so the the hybrids, I think, you think, I think we all agree, I are, agree. are a really good way of doing it. Would you be happy driving uh, a car with motors and batteries if it had a, an engine supplementing those motors? Or do you just always want an engine powering the car? Yeah. I think it de for me it depends on what it's being used for. Okay. I think that's that's the thing with electric cars they they have a use yeah. to some people. 
if you are only doing five miles a week yeah. and you have an electric car and you're willing to wait, great. And you live in a city and you just want something small and what, it, it's fine. But if you are doing more than five miles a week, I, I would prefer an engine, but we're obviously all going to be biased. Yeah, exactly. We want something to make a noise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm also, I think I'm in a min- minority where I'd always rather have something cheap that I like instead of something that's good and reliable. Like, I'll drive that E36 until the wheels fall off. What do you mean, like that car that you bought yesterday, your crew car? No, we don't. No, I don't. We don't, we don't talk about that? No, we didn't buy a car yesterday. Right, okay, that was, okay. That was an uh, animation. Um, <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Was that also an animation of the money coming out of the account? <laughs> no, no, that was real. <laughs> <laughs> We've got that. <laughs> the guy in Birmingham had you at gunpoint. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Alex, the car's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I would just, yeah, I always just prefer keeping an older car going. Yeah. It's yeah. Also, I also think it's, if you're into cars, like it's that sounds a bit um like i don't know what the word is but to be like just keep an old car going it's easy people don't have time yeah yeah. people want a reliable car to get in and go i'm lucky enough that i can spend the weekend tinkering with it and getting it going but i would always just rather have a car a real car this is why i'm going to be so fascinated in another three four years time when we start getting these electric cars that are getting to the price of what our tesla was yeah like what is going to happen to them then? Because we don't. The problem is you've got all, all these EV manufacturers. N- none of them want you touching it, like mm. at home. None of you want. They don't even want third party people touching it. Mm. Like Tesla, you, there we have no sort of people to look at them for cheap. So it's like, well, then I don't want to buy a cheap Tesla. So are we just going to have this sort of world where, like, I, I think in China they had. Um, they had loads of like electric scooter companies and electric uh, bike rental companies where you you know, but they were all basically produced way too many to the fact that there was just a scrapyard then full of these electric scooters and mm. electric bikes because they had too many of them. Is it going to be like that where these cars are sort of only six, seven years old, but then it's just like <clears throat> scrap? Mm. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll I, we'll find I'm, I'm going to be so interested whether we just become that sort of, you know, a car is only meant to last six, seven years and then mm. that's it. Speaking of EVs, you had quite a good idea this morning, didn't you? I did. I told I told Alex about the, it's, we called it the Rallyf. Oh, oh, the Leaf. The Leaf. The did, Rallyf. Did you ask the question? I did ask. Multiple Leafs? Yes. Are they leaves <laughs> or are they Leafs? <laughs> leafs. Uh, um, I did also ask for the Tesla if we could have it and he said no. Oh. Sorry. Well, so, so no, it's just just because it's on air suspension, it'll just be really messy for you guys. Yeah, I just I just I want you guys to have a good life. Okay, so it's a leaf. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. a leaf. Yeah, we want to build an off-road leaf. An off-road leaf. Imagine that. Because instant power. Yeah. Cool. The only thing that I have looked up that's a bit of an issue is that it it doesn't like when it loses traction and you can't turn the traction fully off. But there'll be someone who can help with that. Yeah. Could you actually complete a rally circuit? Yeah. And uh, yeah. people moan about the Leafs, Leaves, Leaves is, Levies. is uh, the Levs range. Leaf eyes. Doesn't matter. How yeah. long is a rally stage? A couple of miles? Three miles? Yeah, yeah then, then you're no, done no, for. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> have you seen a Leafs, a used Leafs battery life? 40 miles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're not doing we're not, that. That is incredible, doing, isn't it? A car that can only do 40 <laughs> miles yeah. and then you need to then, because it doesn't even have fast charging. No. It's like you have to wait four hours then to charge it back yeah. up yeah. again. There are human beings with more. Range. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. why not? Hey, if you like that, that idea, let us know. Maybe we'll yeah. do it. And make sure you subscribe to Top Dead Center because what you guys have got coming is very, very, very exciting. Yeah. Um, I want to bring it back to Car Throttle. Okay. Because obviously we all spend a lot of time at Car Throttle. Um, Best memories, hmm. or like trips that we went on together. The the twenty seventeen eighteen. Yeah, we had a getaway. We called it the getaway. Yeah, that was good. Uh, it was kind of us, the the staff, being rewarded for. I think we had an all right, with a good year. Yeah, yeah. Good year. yeah. So we all went away to a big house up, up north somewhere, and we had a track day booked. And obviously, Edwin and I were Edwin very squinting excited. again. What's going on? <laughs> Edwin and I. Don't Something's like not gone well. I don't like that. talking about this. <laughs> It's such a painful memory, to be fair. <laughs> it is extremely painful. Anyway, did you, did you go, Rory? So I actually joined two days after you got back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes me so, feel a lot better, actually. Uh, I had, that was planned, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I had months of everyone going, God, that getaway was good, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, Will, what car did you have at that time? I for, the, for the getaway, the car throttle yeah. getaway, yeah. I, did, I can't remember what I saw. I just bought an Evo 8. Oh, yeah. wow. How and was it? it? Uh, it was amazing. <laughs> and it wasn't stock. Yeah. It was quick. It was quick. It was like 400, and, it was 400 horsepower. And I was like, great. This is perfect for my first track day. Two Where or was three it? Weeks. Was it Blyton? 
It was blighting, blighting the house. Why am I looking at Rory? Look at me. I yeah. wasn't there. <laughs> Rory, where were the beds in that house? Were uh, they upstairs? Yeah, well, you know, you all had to share a room and everything did. like that. Yeah, so this is yeah, the best yeah. thing. And it had a tennis court, you yeah. know, yeah, so. Yeah. And a swimming pool. Do you know how I know all of this information? Because everyone was telling me, Edwin. I was going to say, Rory's heard it so many times, it might as well have been I have a picture of, I think, 11 men in a sauna. 11 men in a sauna. It was nice. It's what the photo's called. It was nice. It's quite hot. Yeah, it's quite hot. Literally, um, yeah. Yeah. But that track day, yeah, I thought Evo ate great. My first ever track day, it uh, spun a bearing. Oh, before, two, though. Yeah, two, three weeks before the track oh, day. So was I ended it, up was taking it, Didn't it my spin while you two were out on a drive, was it? Uh, oh, actually, we had been working on it the day before. <laughs> Only doing a radiator. Radiators can't yeah, spin we didn't, bearings. I, didn't, yeah, yeah. I can't be blamed for it this time. <laughs> we can't be blamed. And then I took it out for a drive the next day, uh, did a pull, and I just heard. And then it went, got faster with revs, and my heart. Just sank because oh, I'd never had any, anything fail like that. Yeah, so I, I yeah, remember was, this so vividly great. actually because this was when I just started and you were getting so much shit from everyone. <laughs> this was the great thing about car throttle, about <laughs> that kind of that atmosphere we had is that it doesn't matter what car you had, how cool it was. Yep. If something went wrong, even if it didn't go wrong, you got ribbed for it. Yeah. And you got ribbed for a very, very yeah, long yeah. time. Oh my God. Even yeah, if yeah. it was the best car in the world, it was also the shittest car <laughs> yeah. in everyone else's yeah. eyes. Yeah, I mean, Adan had a GTR and probably got the most oh, yeah. from it. Oh yeah, that yeah. was shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's because it was yeah. rusty though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> crashed into a chicken. And <laughs> I, I hit a chicken at 100 miles an hour in Romania <laughs> with that, yeah. And apparently I did quite a lot of damage behind the bumper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chicken. And Ethan curved all the wheels. <laughs> Ethan did curve the wheels, yeah, on Gumball. God, that was a trip and a half yeah yeah so yeah and and uh, edwin uh, yeah. we've obviously spoken about will's lack of car what what yeah. car did you bring uh well i, I brought the passenger seat of will's mum's car I went, <laughs> right. that's, nice. that's, how, yeah. that's how i got to nice. that's yeah because yeah. will brought his mom's fiesta and i was in the passenger seat fantastic because my mx5 i was trying to turbo it uh for for the track day and just didn't get anything done in time and everything broke and i think I think I might have cracked the head at that point or something. I think uh, something had broken on the car as well. So there was no cars. So, so for those of you who don't know, Edwin, and he just keeps banging on about this, he keeps saying that the MX-5 is the best car in the world. Wrong. And he just he, he just won't let this drop. And he convinced us all to get MX-5s as well. I did do that. Yeah, you That's did do true. That. You did do <laughs> that. But I maintain their shit. <laughs> <laughs> but you have one and you spent thousands on exactly, it. Exactly. <laughs> because this is the point of MX-5s. Everyone's like, they're the best cars ever. They're not. They're shit cars. But you can make them good. You can make them whatever you want them to be. But they'll always be a little bit shit. In, they're always including shit. Including a paperweight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if you went out and bought a Z3 instead, you're better off. If you bought an MR2, you're better off. But you can do more to an MX-5 and make it yours. Yes. That's the beauty of what they are. Indeed. That I agree with. But everyone's like, oh, they handle so well. No, they don't. They're floppy. Yeah, they are shit from factory. You need yeah, coils. Yeah. You, everyone's like, I've bought an MX-5. It's really good. And it's good because it's on coils and it's turbo and I've got anti-roll bars and I've done all this. That's a modified MX-5. Yeah. Do you know the, the most ironic thing about MX-5s is they're only good if you've got a hard top. Yeah, Otherwise, they, that, they're they make so floppy. So much better. So floppy, yeah. So yes, I, yeah. I've owned eight of them, I think now, and they're all shit. And my one that I still own has been abandoned for four years. It might, it might come back soon. Are we going to get to see that on Top Dead Centre? Maybe. If there's a video for it, who knows? There will be a video for it. I remember going around to yours when we did my MX-5 and yours was just, it looked like the most abandoned car I've ever <laughs> seen. It, 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 like all the tyres were flat. It was underneath, I'm pretty sure it, from memory, it was, it was, Jesus Christ. Sorry. It's all right. He can't, it's he, all right. Can't, he can't stand he can't. Put MX-5s in pain. And I believe it was under a plastic tarp as yeah. well. It wasn't even like a car cover. It was. Tire it, it, it was, that top, I think yeah. it was, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's, it just looked so abandoned. I was looking at it going like, I would fucking love to have this MX-5 because it was <laughs> turboed, it, it had yeah. no rust. Well, do you, do you, should we tell the story about what? Goodwood, on the way to Goodwood? Oh, oh. Now that's a good one. Yeah, that's yeah. A, okay. Yeah, that's we a very were, good one. You, you, you tell us. This, this is, is another weekend of us spending our own money on our own time going to Goodwood. It was I've, noticed, I've noticed a theme here. Whenever you guys spend time together with cars stuff breaks yes yeah you're very expensive friends aren't you yeah, yeah <laughs> but this was evo po po yeah post post engine. Post post engine and i was post turbo <laughs> edwin had been turboed so we, we were up and running we we're back yeah. in business the boys were at it <laughs> we go <laughs> we went to goodwood on a weekend there was a there was an event there and uh, there's some quite good roads by goodwood mm -hmm. and we were good and then it got to a bit uphill and the evo was a fair bit quicker than the, the mx5 at the time yeah and i've sort of floored it to the speed limit up the hill Edwin's chased me. And then I just lost Edwin. I didn't see him. And then <laughs> I turned around, came back, and he was at the side of the road. I thought, ah. Oh. 
oh, okay, something's gone wrong. And it, it did go wrong. It did go wrong. <laughs> it did go wrong. So, so <laughs> to, to explain, we... We're in the middle of, it was, it's called Cocking Hill, for Cocking those of Hill. you that know it, near yeah. Goodwood. Yeah, it's a very nice. nice road. And there was a temporary uh, t traffic light <laughs> on this road. And Will and I got there first. And so Will was at the front of the traffic light. I was behind him. And we could see over the crest of this hill, a perfectly straight road. Yeah. And I was like, right, I'm getting left behind here. I've got 250 odd horsepower. But my tuner had said, look, I've put flat shift on in this <laughs> right yeah but just know that your boost control is a little bit iffy so if you flat shift it spikes the boost to about 15 or 16 psi which is too much for an for a standard block mx5 yep. and i was like and i'd said to him i won't do that i won't do flat shift and then when the light went green will took off i was like well i need to try everything i can <laughs> <laughs> and i believe i flat shifted it was either third to fourth or fourth to fifth and all I saw, I remember ho uh, holding the steering wheel and looking up at the rear view mirror <laughs> and I couldn't see anything. And I looked back down at the speedo. Uh, sorry, I looked back down, the, the speedo was still going, but the oil pressure gauge was at zero. And then I looked back at the rear view mirror and thought, why is that smoke there? <laughs> and I threw a rod out the side of the block at about seven and a half thousand RPM. And it in, went- it In went, second gear. In second gear. Yeah, it okay. went bang big time and pulled over to the side of the road and looked back up the road and there was just a trail of oil. Oh, oh shit. And yeah, when Will came, Will came back just laughing. I could, before he, he had his window <laughs> down, I could just hear laughing and I was just looking into my block and I could see through the block to the other side. Oh, oh that's fantastic. Uh, and so yeah, we waited. The, be the best part of it was the AA guy came, he recovered it and he was like, you jump again. And I was like, no mate, we're going to Goodwood. And he was like, what you're not coming <laughs> back to your house with me i was like no you can take it back to my house i'm jumping in the car with will we're going to goodwood and we went to a player's show oh yeah. amazing just walked around all day taking photos of cars the, the, fantastic uh, the best bit about that the aa man we're on the what was it it was on the phone it was on the yes. phone and they said like you know because obviously they're normally used to tire punctures yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so it, it's, it's buggered can you please bring something to to tow it away yeah and i'm like, sure it's broken and it was like I, it literally i can see a hole in the engine <laughs> <laughs> and they did send, I think they did send one first, didn't they? The, the, well, the they first. always have to. He yeah. turned up in a transit and I was like, oh no, man. And he got out. He was a really nice guy. And he went, you sure a boost pipe hasn't popped off? <laughs> and I was like, look at the oil trail going half a mile up the road. And now come and look, I'll go on one side of the engine. You go on the other and we'll say hi to each other. <laughs> and then he went, oh, fair enough. All right, we'll pick it. We'll put it on the dolly. Off we go. But yeah, yeah so nice. that car's gone through four engines. Wow. Mm. Okay. Is it working then now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say earlier, the, the whole scene where you said there's a, a tire on the bonnet and a yeah, cover yeah. over it, it hasn't moved since you saw it. Really? No. Four years. Wow. Moved. I reckon you try and get that fixed for yeah. a video. Yeah, we, we might. Maybe we will. What's wrong with it? Attempt it. Yes. Yeah. It needs a new block. It needs another new block. Um, it needs a turbo. And oh. they should run. You're in the days now where MX-5 engines are no longer 100 oh, quid don't. on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I've been what's watching. The, what's the Ross situation? It's per perfect. I got it done. He got it done oh, okay. by the MX-5 restorer. I got okay. it done properly. That oh. was a, like, Will will tell you, as much as I dislike MX-5s, I love that car. It's my mm. first, first ever proper car. And I saved up, I scrimped every penny I had. Because I was living in London, I couldn't afford to save much. Oh shit, yeah, yeah. And I, I think I was saving like 100 or 200 quid a month max with everything. And I scrimped up enough money to get the rust done and done properly. So Fair thankfully play. the car's Fair okay. Play. Good. But it's just, you know, it's just the me that's wrong with it. Yeah. Because Phil's got a bit of rust. So. Oh. Yeah, still. Yeah. Oh, but I thought that was You can poke a hole through it. Yeah. Oh, well, this is, well, now you're this is lightweight for the track. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It, just give me the diff bushes and I'll beat the shit out of that. Or, or Stiggy will. Okay. Yeah. And if he doesn't, then just the video never happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um anyway, are we uh should we calm it down now? Should we should we call it? Yeah, podcast? yeah, we can call it there. Yeah. Before we go though, um Will and Edwin, succinctly, why should people subscribe to Top Dead Centre? So we're like a better version of Auto Alex, really. Yeah. So fair. <laughs> and Car Throttle and Overdrive. Yeah. As well. can't, yeah. I can't say that. We can't you say said that. you said there was no blood loss and uh, no, uh, no, now you just no, no, apparently no. hate everyone. No. Yeah, I hate them all. <laughs> <laughs> we're aiming for world domination. Yeah. Um, no one is safe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean it's safe to say I think everyone knows now. We are all part of the same team now. Yeah. Um, and we will probably need a bigger sofa at some point, mm. won't we? Yes. Yes. Very soon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cut cool, man. Two bags. 
Just two. Just, just two. two. Just two. Or a big one. One big oh, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or a bed. Oh, oh. Can we get an Emma Mattress sponsor? Oh. Emma, Emma, oh. the bed podcast. Emma, weren't you Emma Mattress sponsored on Car Throttle? Yeah. Oh, Emma. Yeah. Come well, on. I, Come I, on. I sleep on that mattress every night. It's great. Do you? It's well, actually great. Oh, what nice. about a Ford, uh, Ford Focus, like having a bed, putting a bed inside of that it? Then, be... then one of them could be in there. Who? Uh, uh, the mystery guest. Anyway. <laughs> God damn it, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> you said mystery guest. Like a guest. A guest. Okay. Just like, just could be a guest. Right. It's not permanent. Everyone calm down. All right. <laughs> I like how we're just throwing fuel on the fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, you wanted to say something about. Oh, I did want to say. Roll. Yeah, I did want to say that. We, I especially, really appreciate all of the comments and everything that you guys have, have you know, given towards me positively. But I just want to say, don't go into the CT comments and you know cause shit or stir. The, there are still people that work there that are very good at what they do and try to do stuff it's i've been in the same position when alex left you get lots of comments being like i'll oh, just pack it in mate it's not worth it and it when you're trying it's it's not that nice so you know people like matt robinson are there he's been there for longer than i have yeah. he's been doing stuff for years and years and years matt robinson was like the fourth employee exactly Carthrow, wasn't he or something and, uh no i think he was like second or third was he yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was very very early doors yeah and like so his videos on ct extra he's been doing that forever yeah and there's people be in there being like who's this guy yeah i can understand it you're frustrated with ct i was too that's why i left but you know give, give people give people a chance don't give my chance you know, yeah you know, don't go in there causing shit think but, of it like a divorce yeah and now you've got two birthdays yeah. <laughs> <laughs> twice the presents yeah. yeah uh yeah so yeah good words from edwin there uh to round off um the auto alex divorce is taking all the kids <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> to round off the All Tidies Podcast 24, uh, thank you very much to Edwin and Will for being our very esteemed, not only guests, but uh, colleagues now as well. We can yeah. call each other best colleagues. Um, from us, we've got loads of really cool stuff coming on Auto Alex. You can obviously see the Porsche 911 that TDC guys are going to be working on. Shed Fest tickets, go buy those. You'll see us, you'll see the TDC guys. Uh, merchandise will be um, available for those guys as well very, very soon. But from us, thank you very much for watching, listening, uh, and writing into the podcast, which is podcast at autoalexcars.com. Fantastic. Even though we didn't show, shout anyone out this week because we no. were just a bit shit. Yeah. But please keep them coming. And uh, yeah, please keep your love and support for not only us, but for the TDC guys as well. And also Car Throttle as well, because yeah. yeah, stuff has changed, but it doesn't mean that it's all doom and gloom. Okay. You've just got another really awesome YouTube channel to follow. And with that, from us have a great week whatever you're doing do it to the best of your ability thank you very much and we will see you next week bye bye, bye. 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 bye.